I want to get back to Trump and the tax records. It is, I believe, a federal offense to release someone else's tax return without their permission. Judge Napolitano is here. He knows what's legal and what's not, and he's with us this morning. Stuart, now, good morning. Okay. The person who leaked put the copies of the three pages of the Connecticut, New Jersey, and New York returns, put them in the mail, delivered to the New York Times. That person acted illegally. Let's call that person the thief. Yes. Right. The thief. Okay. But, but the publisher who receives it, New York Times, when it is a matter of material interest to the public because of the way Donald Trump has portrayed himself in the campaign, his wealth and his taxes are clearly a matter of material interest, the Times is immune from any liability. This is the same rule for the Pentagon Papers. This is the same rule as for the Edward Snowden revelations. Whether or not Snowden committed a crime is irrelevant to the fact that the New York Times and, and the Washington Post uh, published them. Whether this person who sent them to the New York Times, and by the way, the return address was Trump Tower, right. probably tongue-in-cheek. I would think. Um, it is it, th that person probably committed a crime. We don't know how they got them, but that person probably committed a crime. The Times did not. Now, did the Times have any journalistic obligation to say, is this yours? Do you want to explain this before we opine on it? Yes, but that is an a, a, a obligation that stems from the ethics of journalism, not from federal law. Well, they went to the tax preparer who prepared those tax returns way back in the 1990s. Yes. The general who is now 80, yes. partially retired, yes. and he confirmed that that was the front page from those three tax returns. Yes. So, it, so they did their journalistic duty, I guess. They, you prob say. they probably did. They probably did. They probably don't have to go to, to Donald Trump himself as long as they can identify the preparer, which I gather they did. But Donald Trump's done nothing wrong, because you could, if you had a huge loss or any loss like that, you can carry it forward to offset your income. Well, in That's theory, legit. yes. I mean, one, one would have to see all the tax returns to learn if he did anything wrong. Right. But we don't is know. There, it, does, do the statutes permit carry forward yes, loss? Absolutely. If you have a loss of a billion dollars in 1995, can you spread that out to the three years preceding 95? And the 15 years following it, the answer is absolutely yes. And by the way, it's more generous now. You could spread it over 20 years yes. now. Yes, yes. Does it permit the Times to draw the conclusion that he paid no taxes? In my view, no, because the Times doesn't know what right. his personal income was. He said at the debate, did you catch this? I thought of you when I heard this number, that last year he earned $694 million. I thought of you when I heard him say that. <laughs> if he did earn $694 million, he presumably paid taxes on it because we are beyond the period in, into right. which he could extend his carry-forward loss. Yeah. So for the Times to say he paid no taxes in the past well, 20 years is probably based on ignorance. They said maybe. They didn't say categorically he had not paid tax. So the, they, they covered themselves with that. Th this is not a legal issue. This is a political issue. Yeah, absolutely. For a 75-year-old okay. blue-collar person in Pennsylvania, how does he react when he hears that a billionaire pays no tax? That's politics.